Hello and welcome. China RP Center here. Today we are going to talk about how to restore RP vision with our innovative home vision therapy. Before we dive into the content, let's talk first about the factors that can cause and accelerate RP patients' vision loss. We know that most of the retinal degenerations are caused by genetic inheritance like RP, Usher syndrome, Stalgar disease, macular degeneration. Patients usually have a family history of the similar condition. Other factors that can cause irreversible vision loss, for example, acute trauma or injury in the eyes, which might damage the optic nerve or cause retinal detachment. Some chronic illnesses that cause hormonal imbalance, metabolic imbalance, or eye stroke, like diabetes and diabetic retinopathy, hypertension or glaucoma. Even menopause might deteriorate the visual function and speed up the vision loss process. During the COVID-19 pandemic, we have seen many RP patients' vision condition got dramatically decreased after they got the virus infection. This is mainly because if a patient were in respiratory distress, the oxygen deprivation could lead to possible damage to the optic nerve and retina. Some drugs and medications have some side effects on the retina and optic nerve, such as some chemotherapy, antidepressant drugs, Viagra, even vitamin A is not recommended for patients with a gene mutation ABCA4. Research shows that vision loss not only creates stress, but way of anxiety, what will happen to the future? How much can I see? Will I go blind? But stress is actually a cause of vision loss. The root of the problem lays in the stress hormones. This then acts kind of like pollution. Stress hormones are secreted by the brain and circulate in the blood system can have a detrimental effect on the vascular regulation. That is how the blood vessels open up or close. For example, when you hear of the death of the beloved one, it could be that the stress level is so high and so immediate, like a big bowl of stress hormone inject into your whole body, that the blood vessels could actually completely close up, which is called spasm which deprives nerve cells and other cells of oxygen and of glucose. Both of them are the energizer of the cells in the body. Therefore, the eyes can be influenced by such stress hormones in the same way. The blood vessels do not properly regulate the blood flow that flows into the eye to support the optic nerve cells to create visual signals. By way of continuous exposure of the vascular system, to stress hormones and elevated in long-lasting levels of stress hormones. It could have a lasting impairment on the regulation of the blood flow to the eye and impair visual functions. Certainly, the vascular regulation or the proper blood flow is not the only factor that influences the vision loss, but is one of the major factors. The last factor that can cause and speed up vision loss is called epigenetic impacts. Unlike genetic changes that you are born with these tendencies, but there are environmental and external factors that really impact our vision. These changes are reversible and do not change your DNA sequence, but they can change how your body reads a DNA sequence. For example, pollutions toxins, UV radiation, blue light, that will really affect your retinal health and accelerate your vision loss process. So the next slide I want to talk about is how science of cells is changing. Conventional ophthalmology suggested up until very recently that the optic cells were either dead or alive. It was very black and white. There was no idea or conversation of cell dormancy. There was no conversation of sick, damaged cells that can be repaired and regenerated. They are dead or alive. That was it. But in very recent years, we found out that there are four stages of optic cells. We have healthy functional photoreceptor optic nerve cells. These people are seeing fine with normal vision. 
Then we can also see people with vision loss. There are three different types of cells that are going to result in hypofunction, either no activity or dysfunctional low-grade activity. They are from dormant, damaged, to dead. The dormant and damaged cells are in a state of coma. They are like sleeping. They just stop working normally, but they are not dead. By recharging or increasing oxygen and nutrients, they can be woken up and spring back into function. Unfortunately, the worst state is the dead stage, when the rods and cones are dead. They are gone. Nobody can work on the dead cells. There is no way to revert blindness, even for the future cure, gene therapy. The result depends on the original vision. Patients who have better retinal circumstances will increase the success rate of the future gene therapy. So let's move on to talk about how to activate the dormant optic uh, cells and increase the success rate of the future gene and stem cell therapies. First of all, we want to talk about a natural stem cell activation formula, stem active, a revolutionary small molecule that is made of the best herb-based components for activation of the dormant optic nerve cells. This natural herbal supplement increases blood, nutrients, and oxygen supply to the retina. It can maintain the visual function and in the long run, restores or improves night vision, central vision, and peripheral vision through a natural healing. Since 1990s, stem active has been scientifically proved to be effective for RP and other retinal diseases. China RP Center has started using it for RP patients since over a decade ago and have helped more than a thousand RP patients hold on their vision and life quality. Stem active is also the best pretreatment for increasing the success rate of the future gene and stem cell therapies because it optimizes the microenvironment of the retina and includes anti-inflammatory, antioxidative, and anti-apoptosis components. Genetic materials can be injected into a certain zone in the eyes and eventually cure the disease. But without a healthy microenvironment, an inflamed surrounding could end in a complete failure of any treatment. The second option of home vision therapy I want to talk about is AC STEAM, a specific frequency alternating current stimulation. This device has a unique regulator and processor. It can adjust the frequency and power based on each individual's retinal tissue acceptance. It delivers electrical impulses to the damaged and diseased optic nerves and enhances the activity and function of the retinal cells. The technology came out of Germany. It's an evolution of older microcurrent stimulation developed in the 1980s. As the first integrative treatment center in China, we have got the sales right for export of AC STEAM to the international RP patients since 2019. The machine utilizes an eye mask, two electro pads, and two electro ear clips. On the eye mask, there are two electrodes on both temporal sides, which spread the alternating current to eight acupuncture points around the eyes. Each point uses different frequency settings. The temporal sides are the strongest. Strength on the other acupoints descends from the temporal side to the inner corner of the eye. There are two electro pads fit the acupoint of feng chi on the back of the neck. The point of feng chi is in charge of visual acuity and eye fatigue. The electrical ear clips for auricular therapy are to work through the autonomic nervous system. By stimulating the auricular echo point, the impulse travels through the nerve fibers from the ear to the brain and from the brain to the optic nerve fibers. The rate of the improvement varies. Some of our patients notice the changes within the first month. On average, it takes longer time, around 10 to 15 months before the improvement gets stable. For some patients, there is no noticeable changes, but AC STEAM still manages to prevent their vision from worsening. 
It is not a magic and fast fix for retinal degeneration. Any improvement is a slow, progressive change. However, in general, the results are very encouraging. Even it takes at least 10 to 15 months to see noticeable improvement for most of the patients. Some patients who have not shown improvement often reported that their vision has not gotten worse. Please kindly note that even a little improvement means that the disease is not progressing. This is a huge accomplishment. Being able to stop or slow down the deterioration process is a valuable achievement. According to the survey results, 70 to 80% of patients who receive the combination treatment of stem active and AC steam have reported some positive results after a continuous treatment for 12 months and significantly improve their life quality. You can contact us and send your medical records to us. We provide teleconsultation for free.